we're recording. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing uh, we were talking about was just milking the footwork right there, thinking about toe ball, arch heel, and our basic. Okay. We changed that up to uh, twisting a little bit side to side, just loosening up the hips, thinking about keeping our chest focused towards our partner. Uh, we then took it to moving side by side right here, and then switching feet different directions. Just kind of loosening up the feet, get them used to moving. We also took that to Westy Apple Jacks. Right. And so from there, we kind of delved into uh, various exercises to uh, kind of inspire and play off of each other. Um, so the first thing that we were messing around with was an inside pass by. We were going one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, making sure we're getting the peak of our stretch right here. And then we can choose to take it to the side and hopefully she feel it in the hand connection there, but also see it visually from my body when we're ready to stop and go. We think about stretching and a one going right there. Okay, we'll do that from a different angle. So we had a one, two, three, uh, four, back and back and a one, two. Yeah, we were just moving that feet and then we were ready, we were settling in and thinking about our stretch. Right. Talking about the stretch, what we were talking about a lot of was thinking about moving the belly button one inch behind us. So we're feeling that leverage connection, uh, the finger pressure. And then so we can go and a one. And that and a one right there is again imagining a rubber band and we're stretching that a little bit more so we can get her really come in with some nice momentum right there. Uh, we also took the inside pass by. One, two, plane in place, trip, step, and maybe play with the west, like the apple jacks right there, or maybe just stepping into place and then again squaring up, paying attention to our partner and being ready to go right there. We then took that of the idea of, again, getting into our leverage connection, and we were playing with the idea of one person standing still, so the follower played first, and as leaders, we try to maintain that connection right there and play around with it while trying not to upset that connection. And then the followers had some fun with that, yeah? Thinking about not upsetting this connection and always being in a position to react so that when the lead was feeling, oh, I gotta get going, she's ready to come with me right there, okay? Um, I think the next thing was an uh, underarm pass by. Three, uh, four, and just thinking about the freezing and still letting the momentum of the followers carry into our leverage position so that we can go and uh, thinking about stretching from the lats, getting some distance between elbow and rib cage. One, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six. We'll do that again. One, two, three, uh, four, and five. We were also talking about how this handhold feels more secure when it follows right here versus here. Because this is a lot of work with our fingers, whereas this, much more solid, directly connected into my back muscles right there. We also talked about zooming this. So what that was is stretch, and thinking about a little bit more body lean, and really thinking about carrying that momentum from my upper torso in a circular fashion. And she just is staying connected and is finishing that so we can flow out of that seamlessly. Uh, the next thing we were playing with was whips. We were looking at a one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six. Yeah. And so we were taking that and we got her to commit to her four. One, two, three, uh, four, and then tease that connection right there. So we're right here at close and I'm thinking about leaving this connection, this hand connection, my left to her right in place, and backing it up with my triple step, hitting leverage right there, so we can go into our next move. And also, like sometimes the women will feel that openness, like there's there's time to play right there. Uh, next thing, one, two, three, uh, four, zippiness, and then we just relax it, and then we were talking about sneaking up to her if we could, and then segue out of that. So we still give count five of a whip, that, that zoom, but then we're thinking about relaxing that, okay? And, uh, that kind of um, gets this posture change from the fall so that they know it's not for them to play if they want. Uh, so again, one, two, three, uh, four, five, and we just chill it out, see that go under if we want to, you can just walk it out, dance out of it, however we may. Is there anything else? Cool, that wraps up, thank you. All right, thanks.